Hey guys, CI here. Okay, first some quick news. Last week I was bitching about my soccer column and how this new publication wanted me to write boring crap. Well, since then I made a decision. I decided to leave that publication before I even got there. I decided to stick to my creative guns. I'm not going to go to the new place and write bland, generic, forgettable stuff. I'm going to try and get on with my old website. I have a feeling they'll take me back. And um, I'll let you know when the season starts up and I start producing new stuff. I'm looking forward to it. It was a good decision. It's more important to me that I be creative than writing for somebody prestigious where I'll get a lot of viewers. Okay, new topic. This book right here. I got this book when I was 20 years old. It was just a blank notebook, lined pages inside. And uh, that might seem like a strange gift when you're 20 years old, but as soon as I got it, I was pleased. I immediately started putting things in it. One thing I use it for is quotes. As you can see here, there's a bunch of them. I'll hear something cool, I'll write it down. I'll read something in a book, I'll write it down. Anything at all. It could be a funny line, it could be a touching line, it could be whatever. I'll put it in here and I've been doing it for years and years now, so I got quite a collection. Here are a few examples. I'm just going to open the book, grab one at random, see what I think. Here's one. The first step to knowledge is to know that we are ignorant. Lord David Cecil. Flipping another random page, what do we have here? Oh, here's a poem. It's a Rudyard Kipling poem. For it's Tommy this and Tommy that and chuck em out the brute, but it's savior of his country when the guns begin to shoot. Quick little poem, not bad. Um, what do we got here? Isaac Asimov. There is a single light of science and to brighten it anywhere is to brighten it everywhere. I wrote that down in 2003. Here's one from 2009. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will make me go in a corner and cry by myself for hours. Eric Idle. So those are the kind of things I have in this book. Bunch of quotes. However, that is not the majority of what is in this book. The majority of this book is a list. A list of all the books I have ever read. Swear to God, it's just a list of books when I read them. First thing I did when I got the book was I started thinking to myself, okay, what books had I read up till now? I was 20 years old, so I had to think back. What books can I remember from elementary school? How about middle school? High school, I tried to remember by year. What did my English teacher my sophomore year make us read? Okay, and I wrote those down. So I had a list. It's probably not complete. I probably forgot some stuff, but that got me started. So after I got that foundation, I just kept up the list. Every time I would finish a book, I would write it down. The great thing about this is it lets you go back and see what you read. Now, this might sound weird, but I love it. I love going back and seeing what I read. It re I remind myself of who I was back then. I remind myself of the books I've read and forgotten about, what years I read a whole bunch, what years I read less. I try and guess why did I read so much in that year. I can see if I went through phases. Oh, this year I read a whole lot of science fiction. This year I read a whole lot of kids' books. Writing these books down as I complete them is an easy thing to do, and it has brought me so much more pleasure than you would expect. I really like having this. I have a friend who found out about my little book here and my book list, and he started doing it himself. He went out and got himself a little blank notebook, and he has started writing down all the books he reads. He loves it. I think you should do it, too. I think you should go get yourself a blank book and start writing down the books you read. Seems stupid now, but 20 years from now, you will love it. All right, guys, that is it for me this week. I will see all of you next week. Linda, I'll see you tomorrow.